Grand Highlander recently, and people are really excited. It's three full-size rows for full-size people. It has a lot of capability and a lot of luxuries, and it's Toyota. But is there more? Can Toyota do a little bit better? Well, Lexus could, and that is what this is. This is the Lexus TX. It's brand new for 2024, and it's everything that the Grand Highlander is, and then some, because it has all those beautiful Lexus details. The first thing that you'll notice is the new look of Lexus here. So if you were not a fan of the spindle grille, that very dramatic hourglass front grille on the Lexus of past, well, you'll be a fan of this. It's flat, it's wider, and it's a little more elegant and a little less pronounced than the spindle grille of the past. You'll also notice it has a, a modification of the traditional Lexus running lights here. We call them lightning bolts. Lexus has a different name for them, but you'll see that here and you'll see the headlights, but it is a large front grille, and that's because this is a large car. Come on, I want to show you. The first elegant detail you might notice is this. The door handle actually has no moving parts. Very happy detail for little fingers. Inside there is a touch pad. You just touch that pad and the door pops open. That is a very elegant Lexus detail. There are a lot more inside. Come here, I want to show you. Inside the TX, it is all Lo lovely Lexus lusciousness. It starts with, there is a um, compartment here, and then on top of this compartment, there is a wireless phone charger. Drop your phone there and it will charge wirelessly. But there are also three USB-C ports here. There are cup holders here. Your command center is here. As in the Hybrid Max edition of the Grand Highlander, we have this really beautiful Lexus uh, gear selector. It fits right in the palm of your hand. It is a lovely detail. And then we have everything that you expect from Lexus. So we are in the F Sport edition. This is the 366 horsepower, more powerful hybrid, a performance hybrid versus a purely gas saving hybrid. And it is designed for the driver. So it has things like paddle shifters. It has perforated leather on the steering wheel. And uh, it has bolstering, side bolsters here on the driver's and passenger seat as well as microfiber inserts. That's going to keep you solidly in your place while you're driving those beautiful winding mountain roads. But if you don't want your rear seat passengers to feel all that lovely F-Sport energy, you can select a different drive mode. In fact, the F-Sport is all-wheel drive. All of the TX versions have all-wheel drive as an option, but all-wheel drive is standard in the F-Sport. And you can pop it down into normal or eco so that backseat passengers have a little bit easier of a ride. A couple of other lovely Lexus details. There is a live view mirror here, so you can toggle between a video view and a reflective rear view. And then this, and we love this in our Lexus, and that is the butterfly opening center console. This is a really deep center console. I will say, I don't think it's quite as big as the one in the Grand Highlander, but it's large and it opens on either side. So if I'm resting my elbow here, uh, my front seat passenger can just open up on her side and get whatever it is she needs out of the armrest console. I like that detail. But there is more storage under here, which is just this little hidden compartment underneath the uh, charge pad and you can drop your phone or other things in there. But we have two large cup holders here and then there's a little cubby where you can put a few other things as well. And to get out of the Lexus, just like in the RX and the NX, we do have these clever little digital uh, door handles. You can pull it to open it manually or you just push this to, for the electric release. Second row passengers are gonna feel very happy and very spoiled here in the Lexus TX. So it starts here with this beautiful leather seats. They are also have micro suede uh, accents and armrests so everybody can feel super comfortable and it's adjustable. So you can just adjust it down. So you feel super comfortable and not so tossed around on curvy roads. There is a center console here and like the Grand Highlander, it pops out. It's tiny. You don't really need to take it out to provide better access to the third row, but you can if, you, if it seems to be in the way. Like the front center console, it's a little flexible. You can pull these little cup holders out and probably maybe throw them in the washing machine or in the dishwasher. Maybe not, maybe not. 
but you can uh, you can definitely pull them out and then put them back in so you've got a, a good cup holder if you need it or you can get rid of it if you really want the large space another detail is the climate control panel here so we don't have vents here but we do have vents up here so in the ceiling panel is where we find our vents and our dome lights for rear seat passengers. What rear seat passengers will find back here is a nice little place to pop your phone there. There is a household outlet right here, which is a great detail, two USB ports, and then a climate control panel. And in our F Sport edition, we have not only heated seats, but cooled seats in the second row too. So nobody in the first four seats will feel punished or, um, as if they're second class passenger. That duty goes to passengers in the third row, but no, it's a Lexus, so they're gonna feel spoiled too. Center row seats have full latches for child passenger car seats and the outboard seats. You can get a center row bench in some of the TX models, and then they also have this, which is a really nicely reclining center row seat. Being Lexus, there's a lot of push button in this car, including this detail. So our center row seats slide and tilt forward. They don't tilt all the way, but they also give you a really nice large footwell and there's a handhold here for climbing into the third row. So you've got plenty of space to reach one of these two very luxurious seats in the third row. So what do you find back here? Well, you do have your own air vents in the ceiling. There's a very nice large cup holder. There are electric reclining seats. I love this detail. There's push button for everything. It's Lexus after all. And there are USB ports right here in the wall panels where the handhold is. So pretty much everything you need. Oh, and let me show you this. As we had in the Grand Highlander, there also is a nice little tray here where you can pop a phone and you can actually position your phone right there and you can sit and watch it while you relax and recline in your third row seat in the back of the Lexus TX. I'll see you later. So the rear end of the Lexus TX will look familiar with some of the newer Lexus models that we've seen in the last couple of years. It has the light bar that spans the back. It has the Lexus name here. If you want to know which model it is, this is the TX 500H which is also the F-Sport edition, 500H is F-Sport. So that's 366 horsepower and all the F-Sport driving dynamics. And there's a sizable cargo area behind the third row. It holds about 20 cubic feet, which they say can fit up to seven suitcases. Um, it might. <laughs> it definitely will hold your stroller. It'll hold a set of golf clubs. It'll hold a lot of things. And that actually is a quite a decent amount of space for the cargo area behind a third row, especially when it's a full-size third row like the TX has. But what makes it Lexus? Well, push button pretty much everything. So let's try to put these seats down. Let's see, put that one down, we'll put that one down. Whatever it is that you need to do, there's a push button to do it. It even like flops the headrests over so you don't have to. And isn't that a nice luxury? Now we have 57 cubic feet of cargo area behind the second row. When we put the second row down, we have almost 100 cubic feet of cargo space. So really nice cargo space, really nice passenger space, and a really nice luxury three row SUV, brand new, first ever from Lexus. We've been waiting for this Lexus for a very long time. We've had the RX that has a third row, but it's a super small third row not really convenient for daily use. We've had the GX, which is great, but it's a large SUV, maybe not ideal for everyday driving. And then the LX, which is even larger, that's more like driving a truck. GX and LX are really better for families who need off-roading capability, who camp, who ski, who really need that full-time four-wheel drive. This one with all-wheel drive gets better fuel economy, has two, two of the three powertrains are hybrids, and there is a plug-in hybrid with 33 miles of all-electric driving on the uh, electric motor, which is a dream for the daily errands, carpool runs, and short trips that you do every single day so you don't have to get gas until you really need it. We cannot wait to take a test drive in the Lexus TX. 